Yeah, so trending now, uh, our Denver Post uh, Broncos reporter Nikki Javala just dropped the story about Emmanuel Sanders in a leadership role with the Denver Broncos. You guys have talked a lot about Demarius Thomas in um, a leadership role um, as a wide receiver for the Broncos and how he may or may not be up to the task. What do you guys think about Emmanuel Sanders? Could he be the leader that maybe Thomas couldn't be? Or? Well, of the two of them, he's in better shape. We know that. <laughs> Uh, I would like Demarius to actually get in shape. Then he could be a leader later. Emmanuel, I think, has natural leadership ability. I think he's a guy. Your first year in, Hugh, it's very difficult. Demarcus Ware couldn't come in here. He was a leader at Dallas. He was one of their. He was their defensive leader. I think it's so difficult to show up at a new team and say, "Hey, I'm your leader." Yeah. Guys will look at you odd. But I think that Emmanuel sat a year under his belt here. I don't know what that means, but he's had a year here, and he's a guy who's a natural-born leader, I think. And when he talks, I think the guys around him listen, the younger players particularly, and he backs it up with his production. So yeah. I think he's going to be, but he was uh, injured today with a hamstring, and I think that's going to be his, his emphasis over the next five or six days. Those hamstrings can take a while if it's stronger than just a strain. Well, he, and, and I'm with Woody. He does have the credentials. He did make the Pro Bowl last year. Uh, that always raises a guy's stature. Um, and also, he is much more vocal than Demarius Thomas and, and I think wants to assume uh, that title, that leadership title. Whereas DT wants to work hard and blend in and do his thing without you know, putting himself out there too much. So, yeah, Manuel's, Manuel can lead. All right, all right.